What is up everybody, this is SuperSci and welcome back to another video of Heyday. Thank you so much for joining me for this video, I'm looking so forward to doing it. Now in this video we are going to be looking at, that's right, the smelter. And we are going to be analyzing all the products and their profitability. Now this video is similar to that of the one which I did on the sugar mill and the sugar mill profitability. As I said, I'll be doing it with all machines. So if you haven't checked out that one, be sure to check out that one. That is also a very interesting one. Right, so we will start by being full so we can't go, oh wait, no, we're not full. We're not full. We can go shopping. Yay! It's like one of the best things to do in heyday. That's right. Look for bargains and buy bargains and sell those bargains off. That's why they were a bargain, because you can resell them for more profit. Right, so we got pig feed, which is also sold. That's a shame. Right, so looking through, okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to go and we are going to get reputation level up. I've been looking so forward to doing this. I have waited for this video to do it. Level 8 reputation, here we come. Tap, right, okay, this is the best town ever. The best town ever, thank you so much. I really, you, are, you are my favorite person ever. Come back, come back. Thank you. Here's a little gift for you. Oh, thank you so much. The best town ever. Did you see that? That They think it's uh, mine's the best town ever. Thank you. Come back. That was awesome. I love that. That was awesome. What about what about you? Thank you so much for your hospitality. Here's something small for you. That's that's pretty big. That's 500 coins if you ask me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, doing a little dance for me. Here we go, here we go. Oh, come on. We're like literally. Are you serious? Right, oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, yes, 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 we just got level at reputation, level 8, and we just got an epic diamond, and I love that, that looks awesome, that looks beautiful, tulip shoes, I love it, decorate your town, that is, that is a good decoration, for a decoration, that is pretty good, I'm loving it, so we'll press continue, and yes, we are level 8, but not only that, that, well, that, that itself is awesome, what, oh, 20 diamonds, are you kidding me? Like, finally, I'm like, oh, a good decoration, and oh, it's just going to be 20 diamonds. Seriously. Never mind. Right, but what we can do is we can upgrade, and I've been waiting to do this for ages. So here we go, and we're going to press continue. Yes, yes, yes. And then, of course, we can't upgrade it again because we're going to need that. Okay, that's good. And then I have saved it up perfectly so we can upgrade this. Yes. Well, had I said, oh, maybe the tar bucket, maybe I screwed it up. Okay, what about over here? Maybe it's five. It might be five. Oh, it's seven. Oh, yes, yes, I had calculated right. I thought I had enough to do all three machines. All right, and so now we are on to the point where we have, yes, I had calculated it right. I just thought for a second that I messed it up, but I hadn't I'd done it right. So now we're on to the point where we can increase the amount of reputation points by 5%, the amount of coins by 5%, or decrease the time by 5%. So which one are we going to do? With the, it, it Actually, it depends on the machine. It, it seriously does. Right, actually, we're going to collect your gift as well. This is the best town ever. You sound so like a lady that was just at my shop. Seriously, you you think so in sync with her. That's amazing. She said the exact same thing. So thank you very much. Oh, a dance for me as well. Cheers. Okay, so thank you, thank you. And nails, I like it. Okay, thank you. And look at all that barn storage. I'm loving it. Right, so for example, for a machine that doesn't take long to, right, so, and then, of course, we can do that. For a machine that doesn't take long, you want to uh, increase the coins, but for a machine that takes a long time, like, mm, let's say, eight hours, you want to decrease the time. So, we are going to go ahead, and we're going to decrease the time, which will speed up the services by 5%. So, brisk and you, and there we go. We just upgraded that, and not only is that upgraded, but also, we have lots of barn space, which is awesome, right? So, we'll tap that. As you can see, my town's a bit of a mess. I, I It's always, like, there's always, yeah, it's, I'm not good at the town. Right, okay, so, oh, we, we have so much space. Right, so, okay, we can go to a cinema. Right, you can go to the cinema. Oh, yes, butter popcorn, I can do that. Right, so we're looking for one of those. Right, also the bin brick. Oh, yes, we can have the grocery store in there. Oh, thank you, that's a nice order. Anyone for the bed and breakfast? Right, okay, we've got Brandon, but he wants to go to... Mm, I have to think about that, Brandon. I have to think... Because I, I don't want them doing the diner, because... Okay, so I'm going to send you away, and we're going to get... We're going to pick up some more people. Right, okay, so more visitors. Right, okay, yes, that's a bit better. Right, okay, those four will do. Right, and... Well, what they all say? They all said something. Oh, th wow, they were so in sync right there. Four of them saying the exact same thing. That's amazing. Okay, and then we'll go back, and then they'll come, and then we'll put them in their buildings, and they can start, to, whoa, uh, right, oh, oh, wait, okay, so I thought, I thought that was, like, okay, right, okay, so we have the personal train arriving, yes, 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 and we're gonna get four more visitors that we can send off to the machines, right, so grocery store right there, we have the diner, what's the next machine we're gonna get, right, it's going to be, 
Oh, the spa. Okay, so how many puzzle pieces have we got? We have got like uh, one, uh, two, three, and yeah, that's it. We've got three pieces so far. We haven't done any boat orders, so they're like from chests. That I think we've got those. Right, okay, so three more people. Right, yes, Ben. Bed and breakfast, yes, and then another grocery store. Right, okay, so, oh, butter, beautiful, that's, okay, so we need bed and breakfast visitors, okay, so that will do for now. Let's go home and let's go jig out the market again and get the machines back in action. They are really out of action right now. Right, okay, so we'll do that and we'll see what bargains we have. Right, so we have some of that in there, right, already sold. Okay, so looking across, okay, yeah, let's go check out almost a... Uh, Almost, uh, almost, I'm just, I always, I, I can't say it right, it's, it's, I feel bad. It, it's not almost day, it's, it's almost, uh. I'm gonna go with almost, uh. there we go, almost, uh. that's, right, so thanks for the eggs, almost, uh. right, and then we have these, okay, so let's get every, oh, and let's go check out Greg's farm, right, so going to Greg, okay, hello Greg, how's it going, oh, bargains, thank you, thank you, thank you, that is why I visit you every day, I am a loyal customer to Greg, definitely, I always go there, it's always great bargains, okay, so, we'll get the eggs, right, we'll have a lot of eggs to sell off, right, in fact, let's go check this out, okay, and then we'll get this going right in here, like, so, okay, whoa, that is a ton of eggs. Okay, get that going, brown sugar. Right, okay, and then how much white sugar? Okay, we have plenty, we just need the wheat. Okay, so get that going, slowly but surely, we're getting them back in action. Right, okay, so, oh, wheat. Okay, we don't want that, we want wheat. There we go, there's some wheat. Right, so, a little bit here. Okay, or not quite also sold. Right, so that's, okay, so we got our wheat, then we'll come back here. Right, and then we'll get this going, and then we'll get the, okay, so there's so many things to get going, right? It's quite a challenge, to be honest, getting everything going, but it's nice when it's all going. Oh, I just realized, we can upgrade the personal train. Yes, 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 we can. We just can upgrade it. That is awesome. Right, so I'm going back to upgrade it right now. I forgot about that, but that is awesome. Yes, yes, it's always good when we can upgrade it. Right, so what are we going to upgrade? Left or right, left or right? We're going left, because there's a mathematical reason for that. Check out my my video on the, the personal train, if you want to see why. Right, okay, and then we have this here, and this, oh, the amount of space, it's going to be beautiful. Right, so press, oh yes, we just did, we just upgraded that, and then of course we're going to have to wait till next level, but that has got us a ton of space. My barn has, like, not felt so free and so spacious in such a long time. Right, so click those, right, and then we have, okay, so look at all this, okay, let's go on the tapping, like, wowzers, I think, right, okay, and then we can't tap that one yet either, whoa, look at all the stuff in there, that is pretty jam-packed, okay, so, right, now we have to, okay, right, what are we going to sell off, uh, we can sell off the popcorn, that's for sure, and also we can sell off the, let's see, the pancakes, yes, the pancakes, and the eggs, Yes, the eggs, definitely the eggs. Okay, so we can get rid of a ton, literally a ton of them. Right, that and that. Okay, that will get those down for a while. And then we'll put one of them on advertise. Right, okay. And then, right, so we'll get that. Right, and then coming over here and seeing what else. Right, so there's lots of awesome free space. Okay, so that will do for there. And that's right, we're going to put this here on. Right, okay. And then boom, boom. And then get some of those. Right, and then get them in action. Those cows back in action awesome and then tap and then tap right and then over here and then get that going in there sweet this is going good right okay so we'll go with that one there okay so a couple necklaces going right and then in here right what ore have we got okay we haven't got much ore so we will extract some ore right get those in there and then in here right no we don't want these okay there we go right okay and then coming up here and we have this Okay, so this is going to be a lot of profit when I sell all this off. I'm liking the look of this. Okay, and then these, all these are going to be, in two hours, I'm going to be able to use up a whole heap of axes. Right, let's go with soybeans for now. Okay, so soybeans going on like so. Right, so soybeans, soybeans in the house. Okay, and then we have this right in here. Right, still lots of space. I love lots of space. It's amazing. Okay, and then we can do the, all of these, which is great. Right, so we'll get the, the pigs going, and then we'll get the sheep going, and then the, all of everything going. Okay, and then that for the last three of those. Right, and then, okay, oh yes, and then we can get the rest of the chickens going. Yay, it's awesome when we can get virtually everything going. I think literally everything will be going when I'm done with it, okay? So going through, going through, getting this going, it's it's a bit of a challenge, especially as you level up more, there's more things that you have to keep going. Right, and then in here, right, okay, oh yes, that's refreshed, right, right, oh, that was a bargain, but not much of a bargain, so we'll just see if there's any other better bargains. Okay, it doesn't appear so. 
Right, okay, so going back here, and we'll grab that. Okay, and that's not much of a bargain, but it is a bargain, so we can be happy. What time is it? It's time for the Wheel of Awesome! That is right, one of my favorite parts of the videos. And look at that blue sweater. Look how it blends in. I like it. It's just, like, so subtle. It just, like, hides in there. It's, it's quite cool. I, I like it. This is Wheel of Awesome. It's just amazing. Look, it's funny how you can just turn it to whichever one you want. So I'm going to put it right here because this is what I want it to land on. Okay, now we're going to see what it does land on. Okay, let's see. It'll be funny if it does land on the jackpot. What is it going to land on? It's going to land on... Oh, a booster! What is the booster going to be? It is going to be, I think, a shipping one. Okay, we'll just... We better at use one of them so we will activate that. Not that we're going to use it, but it's going anywhere. Right, and then the... Where is the boat? Okay, the... Right, so that's coming in one hour. Awesome. Okay, now we gotta get. Sh well, actually, we're gonna sell off the. What? Look at all these. They just go for literally so far back. Okay, now we're gonna sell off these some wheat bundles, right? Which I made overnight. I don't need that many wheat bundles, that I can tell you. Right, and then we're gonna go back to the town and see if the grey elephant is looking for a wheat bundle. Right, okay, so done and done. And then we'll come back here and then we'll go to the grey elephant. Right, grey elephant, hello, there we go. And oh, tap you, 25 XP, thank you very much. And there's your feed. Right, okay, going back to the regular farm and it's. Right, so, wait for it's load. Yay, it's loaded. Okay, and then we have the sheep. Okay, so is there any more stuff? This just goes on forever. Look at it. It just keeps going. Okay, so, right, so we got to sell off some more stuff and trade some stuff as well. Right, so we'll go with selling off another 10 eggs. Right, that's just crazy all this. Whoa, whoa, no, no, we don't want that. Okay, we are going to go out of that. Done. Okay, right, so Facebook sign and cancelled. Yes. I just cancelled that. Right, okay, so Facebook, yeah, I'm not connected with Facebook. Okay, so four vanilla ice creams. Right, so we'll do that, and then we'll do four of those cream cakes. Yes, four cream cakes. Right, and then we'll tap it again and see what else. Right, more of those. Oh, it's literally, it's insane how much I fill up these, these, I just stack them up so much. Right, so it's, there we go. This is going to get me some profit. Look at all of it. It's just like, it's going to, it's like, it's like a hay bundle in a sense, but it's wheat. Right, okay, so, it just goes literally, it just doesn't stop, uh, it's crazy, and then we want to do the sheep, that's, that's what we want to do, okay, so, right, sell off some more stuff, right, so we might even have to sell a feed, okay, so I guess, I guess we're going to have to sell off some chicken feed, right, okay, so we have lots of chicken feed, and we'll start producing more chicken feed, right, okay, so we'll sell off that chicken feed as well, right, so that can go, and then we'll start producing more chicken feed, as well as finally getting through that. Okay, so then we'll get that going right for now. Right, and then we'll get some more wheat. Awesome, and we can get these going, and then we can sell off. Right, finally, finally, we've made it through that. Okay, so this is seriously a challenge. Right, and then this is refreshed. Okay, what bargains have we got in here? Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, yes, there. Oh, I think I saw an axe on the... Oh, and that, that bargain's there. And then, was that an axe? No, it wasn't. But is that... Oh, a bargain right there. Okay, that's gone. Right, that was, yeah, okay, newspaper, not just the regular kind of couple of bargains. But, yeah, any bargains are good. Right, so then that's going, that's, oh, right, we need wheat. Okay, so going back for some wheat. We have sadly spun the Wheel of Awesome already, so we can't do it again. Right, okay, so coming back here, and then we'll get that going. And then, right, oh, yes, we're going to get this going. Oh, yeah, and then we have the goats to feed. I forgot about them. Hello, goats. forgot about you, sorry. There we go. We'll get some goat feed going, and then some more goat feed over here. Right, okay, so get those going, and then go through there like that, and then cut that down. Sweet. Okay, I think, oh, yes, and then we have this to go. Okay, so that, and then we'll go snap. Right, okay, and then do another one, and then just get enough ore to get them all going. Since the next reputation level is so far off, it doesn't really matter. Actually, we're going to be doing the smelter right now, so actually, this is going to be kind of cool, because I'll be able to make them at the same time as talk about them. Right, okay, so there we go, like so. Right, okay, that will get me. How many will that get me? So there we go, yeah, one, two, three, four... Five. Okay, five, exactly. Right, awesome. Right, so now going on to the smelters, which is what this whole video is about. We have five smelters, which are epic. You know, the first was about 12,500, and the, the last, the fifth one was about 50,500 coins from memory. That literally is from memory. I haven't got it right here. But what I have got here is the calculations, and it's only two starred. But look how close. I think that's over halfway. That is over halfway. We're over halfway on our way to getting the third star, which is going to be awesome. So, as you know, I do a video on the different machines once I've unlocked every product. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, 
Right, wow, that literally, I just tapped it, I tapped it, that was, that was funny, I did not mean it, I just, okay, well, anyway, that, that's going, we, that's fine. Okay, so now, and look at the animation, it's got like a nice, hot, steaming, coal, burning, melting, okay. So, the, what I do with these, is I talk about the different calculations, I say, because I've said some of them in previous videos, the amount of coins you get if it's unstarred, but I'm going to go over the amount of coins with it's unstarred, starred, and the amount of XP, unstarred, and starred. So, that's what I'll be doing with all the different, all five of these things right here, and going over it. Now, I think in my previous videos, I think I made a couple of mistakes with the calculations. With I think I think it was just with these bars. I think maybe I said the gold bar wrong, or maybe it said them with them start. Anyway, this video takes uh, precedent over those other videos. This one here is definitely, definitely accurate. I have double, double checked them for this video. So this one, if I, if you've like written them down from another video, this one here is the more accurate one, like 100% accurate to the best of my knowledge. Right, okay, so we have the different things. And so unstarred, uh, right, so unstarred, a uh, silver bar will make you 11.7 coins per hour. A gold bar will make you 9.6 coins per hour. A platinum bar, will make, uh, platinum bar will only make you 6.8 coins per hour there's, there's, uh, in one smelter. Unstarred or up to two starred because, yeah. And then coal will make you 12.6 coins an hour. And the iron bar will make you 12.3 coins an hour. So of the five, coal is the most profitable, but this all, so, they're almost all equally unprofitable. Like smelters are not the way to make profit, realistically. They just don't make much profit. But coal is will make you the most profit. Right now, assuming that it's we've got it three star, which we will begin we will begin at three star eventually. Then and then it's the same order of profitability. They just all go up by a certain percentage, and it's not exactly fifteen percent because it, it just decreases fifteen percent time, which changes it. I did a video on that. Anyway, so if you is if it's a three star smelter for one smelter with a silver per hour, it will produce you thirteen point eight coins per hour. The gold bar will produce you 11.3 coins per hour. The platinum bar will produce you 7.9 coins per hour. The coal, 14.8 coins per hour. They call it refined coal, but I just call it coal. And then the iron bar, 14.5 coins per hour. So as you can see, well, I'll just do it. I'll just tap on them in order of profitability. But when you get high level like I am now, it's not on profitability. You just make them based on what you need for your personal train or the orders that order certain materials and different things like that. And then there was oh yeah, and the jeweler. You make them based on that, not necessarily on profitability. But up to the level when you get like the jeweler and you get the personal train and stuff like that, it doesn't matter nearly as much. Right. So that is. That is those, right, so most profitable is coal, and then iron, and then silver, and then gold, and then platinum. Only 6.8 coins per hour on star. That's pathetic. Right, okay, so moving on to XP per hour. Now, this is literally so rubbish. This is so rubbish. Now, unstarred, unstarred is the same as one starred or two starred because they don't affect profitability calculations. So, unstarred, the silver bar will make you... 1.8 coins, uh, no, 1.8 XP per hour, 1.8, that is unbelievably lame, and then the gold bar will make you 1.5 XP per hour, it's getting worse, all the way to the platinum bar making you 1.3 XP per hour, that, unstarred, that is so lame, that's per hour, per hour, 1.3 XP per hour, the coal makes you 2.2 XP per hour, unstarred, that is, that's the winner, 2.2 XP per hour, that is like, literally, that is so funny, that is just, 2.2 is the best, that is just hilarious. Right, and then we have the iron bar making 2.1 XP per hour, unstarred, that, that was all unstarred calculations. Now, assuming that we got it three starred, which, of course, increases them proportionately, uh, percentage-wise, so, then the, the silver bar makes you, and this is in an hour, three starred, 2.1 XP per hour, the gold bar makes 1.8 XP per hour, the platinum bar makes 1.5 XP per hour, that, that's that's the best it can do with the, the fully starred smelter, the coal makes 2.5 XP per hour, and the iron makes 2.5 XP per hour, because it's rounded, so yeah, that that is 
funny. That is just funny. That like it, it would probably the the iron would make kind of two point four, but it's just like within point something of an XP per hour. So it's literally nothing. Anyway, I just thought they well they are the calculation. So I I that's the video. Well, like it's not over yet, but that is just the different things. So now we'll go ahead and we'll put these on. Right. So right. So we've done we've done that one. Okay. So there we go. And then there we go. Right. And then we've got this one here. And then platinum. No, 21, 21 diamonds to start that action is like gotta be like honestly. If I I just feel sorry for those players that haven't watched some of my videos, like that haven't realized that literally that someone would do that is just incomprehensible. It's just kind of sad that that it costs 21 diamonds to do that. Like the fact that people actually could do that is just like sad. So I hope that like watching my videos you just learn to never do things like that. Is that is literally one of the worst ways you could possibly spend your diamonds. That is 21 diamonds. Seriously, for three of platinum ore. That's worth like so little. That is just unbelievable. Anyway, and then the last one is the gold bar. So we have them all going. Now of course those calculations will be times by five. For when, since these five smelters, so for example, rather than only, so the gold bar in an unstarred mastery earns about nine point six coins per hour, so that's about ten. So then, with five masteries, if you had them all producing gold bars, they'll produce you fifty coins, because like you'd have the nine point six times five, so that'd be about fifty coins per hour. But I was talking about those calculations are singularly per smelter. So if you are doing, for example gold bars and two smelters, you double the calculations of XP or of the coal. Like, uh, sorry, of the XP and the coins. But I thought I'd say the unstarred and the starred uh, calculations for both coins and XP. So yeah, they were the interesting, interesting stats. Smelters are literally rubbish for making coins. They are literally so pathetic. But of course, oh yes, if we, oh right, I tapped the wrong one, but we got it anyway. And so one of my visitors were, was requesting that and they might want that. As well, <laughs> I could give them that as a bonus. I don't think they want that, but that's just something handy to have, right? Okay, so we'll go through and we'll just see. Oh, uh, X. Oh, sadly, it's sold. We'll buy a cookie though. We I uh, sometimes buy the things that we don't have, and that is also sold, right? Oh, but we got a dynamite sweet, and then we'll go back and we have the popsicle, right? Okay, so who was it? Right there, you go. This popsicle sweet. Okay, so then I think that is that is almost all of them, right? So we need a feta pie and we need a. Two more cookies. Okay, so that's looking good. Right, so they were the calculations for this video. So takeaways from it: don't yeah, don't bother using the smell uh, the smelters the for making coins. That they're, they're just for the bars, and the bars are really important. The bars don't really get you that much profit comparatively to other machines. But yeah, wow, I've got none of them. Literally, I, I've only got one of those towards that order. But that's yeah, okay. Right, so yeah, I, I really do hope that th some of those calculations were interesting, and and like, now you'll be able to know, so I've firstly, I've done the, alright, last time I did the sugar mill, I it was right up here when I did the video, and I just watched the video before I made this video, like, I, I just watched it to see the order I did things, right, and so now I've put it over here, right, so I've done the, the sugar mill profitability, I have done the smelt profitability this video, and the next, uh, mass, uh, like, profitability thing I'll be doing is the jeweler and the profit for these things and I have edge I've already done one of these things and it happens to be the diamond ring so if you if you want to get like sort of skip ahead and knowing the calculations for the jeweler be sure to watch my video on the diamond ring it's called is it I think it's called is it worth a diamond anyway that video talks about the profitability of the diamond ring but I will be talking about these other three and which is the most profitable in the coming in a, in a coming video possibly next video but I'll, I'll determine what video it will be when I do that. Right, so as you can see, we've, okay, so we've done that. We're looking pretty good. Let's go check. Right, so we have, how much barn space? I'm liking the barn space. Oh, wait, I'm liking the barn space? Yeah, we have one space. Okay, so we had, we had unlocked more. Okay, so, right, so what can we get rid of? Right, there's a lot of gold bars. I hope to see if someone wants gold bars. Can we, 14 of them, right? That's not quite enough. Okay, so we will get rid of 10 eggs, right? And then we can probably get rid of, like, five of these things, wheat bundles, that's what they're called, and then also we can get rid of five carrot pies, we'll put that on advert, advert, advertise, we'll advertise that off, right, okay, so that's, I just sort of went silent there, sorry, oh, right, tap the wrong thing, okay, so we'll put that up there, carrot pie going up for sale, like so, right, so that's up for sale, they are going, 
and there was like one more thing I was gonna do. I just can't recall what it was. Oh, that's right. But uh, but uh, right. So one of the things in there. Okay. So there we go. Can we rotate one of those? Right. Not rotatable. Can you be rotated? Right. Okay. What can we? Uh, right. So we can. We'll just do that. But oh, there we go. So we'll do that one, and we'll put that in there. Sweet. There we go. And then that is go that's going like like it is. Sweet. I'm liking the look of this farm. I think everything, everything, everything. It's so beautiful when everything's going. It's like yes, yes, yes. Right. And we have 20 space. That is amazing. That is a good situation to be in. Right. And that is refreshed. Right. Okay. So we. Oh, okay. That's sold. Oh, we'll buy those though. Right. Coming along. What else can we get? Right. Do we need carrots? I don't know. Hand drill. Maybe. Right, okay, uh, no revives, well, it, it, it could be revised, but I always just check straight to the dock, and if, if it's got that exclamation mark, I don't even bother looking around it, but, oh, carrots, profit, yes, no, okay, so going there, and there we go. So that will wrap it up for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If I didn't say any of those calculations clearly, please let me know in the comments, please ask lots of questions about the video about Hayda in general, and like uh, about the smelter if you want, but I think I've covered most of the things to do with the smelter. I do love the look of the smelter, it, it's really cool in that, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice, nice wee machine, uh, I've got them like in funny places, right, so we've got a couple rotated that way, and right, okay, so I, I do like the smelter, I like the smelter, I haven't unlocked any of the extra slots with the smelter, because the thing is so long, that the, the shortest is refined coal with 6 hours, and the platinum art is 16 hours long. So yeah, I really hope that that informed you and helped you learn about the different profitabilities and the XP for the for the smelter. Can you believe, can you believe, I'll just read out these two again, it's just so funny. A platinum bar unstarred makes you 1.3 XP per hour. That is unbelievably lame. And, and coins per hour in, in a smelter, 6.8 coins for the platinum bar. That is so bad. That is just unbelievably bad. Anyway, it's just, it, since, since you've got the smelter, you might as well be producing something because you're not losing coins, but it's just very minimal coins. The main purpose of bars is not profit or XP, but rather, well, to, to master the, smel the, the smelter, that's one of the reasons, but, but to get the personal train to do the, the, the truck deliveries with those orders which are really good they can be really helpful and i always forget the last reason i always forget one whoa look oh, okay right okay so we'll do that right and what is the last reason right so we've got the truck orders we've got to upgrade the personal train and what is, ah, of course, of course, the jeweler, that's right, and so the jeweler will be one of my next videos, and which one is the bars used for, because based on what, how profitable these items are, will determine which bars you want to make, possibly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I really do hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you haven't already done so, thank you so much for watching, thank you all you new viewers, all you old viewers, those of you who have just come to my channel, this is your first video, welcome to my channel, it's great to have you, and it's Thank you for those who are subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me. And please like this video if you did enjoy it so then I can know what videos you enjoy and so I can make more of that type of video. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Super Sight. And remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.